Well, the sun is shining outside, but it's pretty cold still. And when it's cold outside, there are a couple of things I like to do to warm up. One of those is drinking a warm drink, like tea or maybe even hot chocolate. I like wrapping myself up in a nice cozy blanket to keep warm. Oh, that feels good. But do you know what warms me up a lot? Wearing cozy socks. And that's what today's story is about. Today's story is Smelly Socks by Robert Munch. Now before we get started, we need to calm our bodies down so that we can listen. Let's take a deep breath in and a quiet breath out. Let's stretch our hands up to the sky. Oh, it feels good. And down, roll those shoulders back. One more quiet inhale. And exhale. I think we're ready. Let's begin. Smelly Socks by Robert Munch. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there's no bridge here, said Tina's mom. You know it is a long, long, long way to the only bridge, and besides, we don't have a car. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor's not working on the boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina, we can row. I will row, and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. So, Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in slow circles. Swish, swish, swish. Tina rode fast. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in fast circles. Swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through the town to the big sock store. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, socks that were too blue, and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found a perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat. And this time, the bo boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round and still got to the other side. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, Socks, socks, wonderful socks. These are the best socks I've ever seen in my life. Grandpa rowed me all the way across the river to get these socks. I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said Tina's mother. So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell, change your socks. 
Socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for ten more days, the whole flock of Canada geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. Then they held their noses and took off her socks. Some of the kids held Tina and some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river floated up to the top and acted like they were dead. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, How come the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They smell nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They feel nicer when they are clean. Tina put on her socks and said, I am going to wear clean socks from now on. The beavers left her grandfather's house and went back into the river. The Canada geese got up off the ground and flew away. The fish decided they were not dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Tina went to her mom and said, My socks are nice and clean. I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. The end. Well, just like Tina, your socks need to be washed eventually. And when they do, they have to be sorted afterwards. And that's where you can do it. You can help. Come on, I'll show you how. Let's go match some socks. Hi friends, are you ready to match socks? In our family, we have five people, so that means a ton of socks need to find a matcher. Now you wanna make sure that your socks are exactly the same, because if they aren't, they're not a match. What I like to do is I like to take my socks and put the same color sock in one row. That way it's easy to see if they're the same or different. Once you find a pair that are exactly the same, you need to find a way to keep them together so they don't get lost. What I like to do is put my thumbs inside one of the top of the socks and then we're gonna use the knuckles and flip over. Boom! so that they are held together. You have a nice little pair. The other way you could do it is to roll them up into a ball. To do that, let me show you what you do. You're going to put the socks one on top of the other and starting from the bottom where your toe would go in, roll up your sock and do the same flipperoo that you just did in the other example. Take your fingers in one of the sock openings and push with your thumbs through so that now you have a pair of socks and a ball. Easy as pie. You can do it. You can help.